Oh, look at these lenses. Oh, that's giving me a funny feeling. You have the fizz. Certainly do. So, hello everybody. Welcome to hello, another episode. This is my good friend, Alan. Hello, Alan. There he is. We're hello, world. Hello. We're <laughs> off to Photographica at... Where is it? What? Who is this? PCCGB. Yes. Photographic. British Society, isn't it? Yeah, British Photographic Society, and they've got their camera show. And we're going to go and see what's about. There's going to be lots of goodies in there, I would think. Is there anything in particular you're hoping to see? Or? I was hoping to have M43 stuff rolling around, but mm, probably four not. thirds. Okay, yeah. yeah so, probably so not. Alan's a micro four thirds shooter, and. Uh, I believe he just bought a nice new lens. A little Sigma, 20 mil. 19. 19. 19 mil. That's gonna give him 40 mil, my favorite focal length. But enough of that. Let's go and see what's going on in Photographica. So here we are at the Photographica exhibition. And my goodness, what a busy old exhibition it is. We've got loads and loads and loads of old camera gear. Who was it who said film is dead? Because they were telling porcupines it's clearly not. And look at all this stuff. We've got Zenits, we've got Likers, we've got Folders, we've got Zorkies and Feds, Pentaxes. Oh, there's an interesting Pentax. Pentax ME. No price ticket on that one. Phone case, that's really groovy. I would be quite interested to find, well, vintage lenses, of course, but I'd be quite interested to find a Polaroid SX70. This is all movie gear, by the looks of things. How much for your Polaroid? Looking 200 for that. 200? There's one for 50 as well. Ah, uh, yes, that's not quite as nice as this no, one, I don't think. This is a lovely for the Yeah, the, the, these are, are very nice, yeah. About 200 for that, you say? Excuse me? You say about 200 Please, for yeah. that? Yeah, okay, okay. All right, thank you. So I think prices are a little, little high. Oh, Alan's found something. What's he found? He found an Odyssey. An Odyssey? Oh, oh an Oddity. What could the Oddity be? Now I'm intrigued. Oh, the 110. Yes, yes, I saw that. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, there's a very groovy little camera. I mean, also 110 SLR. And those are really interesting. I've only ever seen the proper case as well. I've only ever seen them on paper. Yeah, that's pretty groovy, isn't it? Look at that. It's a proper little glass alarm. Yeah. What lens have we got on there? 25 to 67. Okay. That's a long one. I had the earlier one. I don't know if you've ever seen the earlier one. It's flat. No, no. And, and uh, it, was, it looked like a more traditional 110 with a big lens on the front. Yes. And a, and a mirror hump on the top. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And now, yes. Silver. Very um, silver. Yeah. 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 But those are nice. I've often thought of having a look at one of those. Oh, look at these lenses. Oh, that's giving me a funny feeling. You have the fizz. I certainly do. We got here. Um, by who? Pentax. Minolta. Oh, Minolta. Oh, right. 
Another Minolta. 1.4. Now that is nice. That's the nicest 1.4 that I've used. Very, very nice that one. 1.7. Oh, Lidith, yes. Got one of them. Interesting focal length as well. Yeah, it is. Yeah, is it? That's 29 mil, isn't it? No idea what at all what amount is. That looks like exacta. Or does it? No, that doesn't look like exacta. What on earth mount is that? That's not got a mount. That's mountless. I can hear an offer coming on, mate. Yeah? Not for me. No, I got one of those. My one's got a mount on it. But, I'm wondering about this. Do you reckon this is all cash here? It must be all cash here, must it? I don't think so. We've got some cash here, we can need some more. Have you? Oh, a lot of blades. Oh, yeah, there are lots of blades on that one. It, that's actually a really nice lens. I like that little lens. It's a real, um, it's a real underdog. Now, how about this Minolta? I wonder how much you want for this Minolta. Mind you, I've shot, I've shot one of them. I've shot one of them. So let's not revisit old ground. What can I sell you? <laughs> oh well, you've got a few juicy ones here. I don't think we're just here. recording everything or you're actually buying things. Well, <laughs> if, if, the, if the right one presents itself, who knows, what's this one? What? Ooh, what is that? Ooh. I touched it first. Touch it, move it, Konica 1.4. Whoa. Ooh. How much for that, for that one? On that one, 75. 75. Whoa. What's the mount? Oh, it's Konica mount, isn't it? Got a thing for hexalon. Sorry? Got a thing for hexalon. Yeah. Quite rightly so as well. Yeah, I've, I've um, my favourite one is the 40, 1.7. Beautiful little lens. Yeah, that's one. 75 for that, you said, right? All right, let me put the top back on. Could you lend me some caution to Ooh, Already! Later on? Oh, already! Yeah, of course I could. Is that it's right? just the weight of that lens. Is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How much do you need? What's your best for that? 75 on that. 75? Yeah, that's, that's, got, that's a 1.4. It's not a, a 1.8 or a 1.7. Yeah. A chunk of glass on it. Go on then, fair enough. I'll give you yeah. 75 for that. If you could sub me, Al, until it, 75. No, wait a minute. Wait, what have I got? Oh, got some. Oh, in my extra deep pocket. <laughs> oh, 55. If that's okay. Yeah. Uh, 15, 50, don't you know? 55. Five. Yeah. There goes my boy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank no, you, no, sir. Well, do you want me to pop it? You've got a bag, have you? Um, do you know if you've got one, that would be really handy. So there we are, we've actually bought something. We're not just here to look around and make a free video, we have actually bought something. And we're going to be testing that on the channel pretty soon. I can wrap, I can pop wrap that round it if that helps. So thank you very much, sir. Okay, there we go, we're going to pop it in your bag. Yep, that's cool. That's Thanks Cheers, much. thank you. Like a 1A. And a nice Elmar on it. Beautiful. Now we've also got a like a 3G. Ooh, beautiful. That is a camera that I should very much like to own. I've always wanted to own one of those. But I don't think this is the day to buy it.
Anything take your fancy yet, Al? Not really. You're not going for the contacts then? You were doing it, but hit people with it. I don't know. There's a nice Olympus, that looks like a forerunner to the Olympus trip. Similar sort of thing. Exactor, we know those. It's really amazing what a lot of interest there is in these old cameras. Here is something that looks like a biogun, biotar. F2 biotar, exact amount. I did have one of those and I wasn't particularly thrilled with it actually. I thought the Helios copy was rather better. How much is the cook lens? Sorry? How much was it? 900. 900? 900. 900 for the cook lens. That's a lot of cooking. <laughs> now what can I see here? A Kiev with the Helios 103. That's said to be the nicest of the lenses that the Kiev came with. Is the is the Tissot watch um, a, a quartz watch or a mechanical one? Mechanical. So the 80, soft... 80 hours. Lots of the uh, former Soviet cameras here. We've got a fake duration when it's wound up. The Kiev, 80 hours. Kiev. Uh, fully wind up. Yeah. You can lie down for 80 hours. Yeah. Look at all this stuff. Let's have a little sweep along here. Hey, how are you? Nice <laughs> to see you. Three, five. Yeah, not so bad. Have a look. What was the problem? That's three thirty-five. The so the guy not. One thing I will say is that the prices here are really. Top shelf. I don't think there are many bargains to be had here today, not that I can see anyway. I got, I, I got this one really cheap. <laughs> Colour Fed 3. a few former Ryan Cook and cameras there. But very, very busy and really quite surprising the age range uh, of people that they hear. There's uh, clearly a lot of younger people. There are quite a few older people who probably grew up shooting film and are very familiar with film and the ways it works and shoots, but there are a lot of older, uh, younger people here as well. Here's Mr. Peter Loy's stand, well-known name in second-hand cameras. It looks like there are quite some rarities here. Lots and lots of likers. Oh, look at those. How much did you want for it? See you in front of Sorry? Oh, look at those lovely likers. See you in front of Yeah, see you in front of so a really wide range of people here, right. not just buying but also selling. Young lady here. There's a lot of uh, movie film gear here as well, movie camera gear here. I saw a beautiful Arri 16mm back up there. I'll go and show you it if, if we go back up there or when we go back up there. Mm. 
Now where's my colleague and comrade? We appear to have got lost. M42 Screwman, look at these. Helios. Pentacon. Lots of Helios and Pentacon. There's the Pentacon with unusual markings, which I've never seen before. Quite a rarity. He came out. Plenty of those. Oh, that's a chin on 28. Nice little lens. Now that is a beefy SLR. My goodness, that's heavy. That's a real weighty object. There's a lot of metal gone into that. And that's clearly a very, very nicely constructed camera. I don't think I've ever known a camera quite as heavy as that thing. Camera repairs. I've got a it's, 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 it's Olympus. 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 It's Olympus. It's the husband you need to speak to. He's just um, having a wander around. So call back. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. Rico. <laughs> Minolta. <laughs> and some practicals. BC cameras. They're very, very nice little cameras, those. I don't think they quite have the quality of some of the other brands. But if you get a good one, a good working one, they're really lovely. Lots of photography discussion going on. It's amazing what a pull this hobby has. Just the act of making images. It's such a magical thing to do that, you know, it just kind of grabs so many people's interest. And it's a thing that's only been possible for what, 150 years thereabouts? For most of history it's not been possible to instantly make an image and now that it is it's so popular so many people realize what an incredible thing it is to do just to make an image there's another Konica hexanon 135 3.5 well I've shot the 3.2 and it's said to be nicer than that I've never tried the 3.5 the 3.2 is said to be the nicest there's a monster in the background there. More SLRs. Anyone who said film is dead is mistaken. That stereo camera over there. Let's see if we can get a look at that. Mm. Um, the two oh, there's the Fed stereo camera. Look at that. Yeah, which is that one there, and there's another one over here. Two Interstars on there. Believe, I don't live in London. That's yeah, wonderful. To make sure it's quite heavy as well. Oh, yeah. Really, it's quite something. I do all the promotion for this film. I do the lot. All the press releases, all How the emails, that? all the uh, pushing to everybody, Facebook advertising. Yeah, you've got to get, you've got to get stalled. How much for the uh, Fed, please? How much for that, please? It's got 135 oh, yes. on it. I see. Sorry, I didn't see that. Yeah. It's okay. All right, thank you. Unusual camera. Very unusual, yeah. It's got a case. The zip's gone on the case, but it's got the lens hoods. Right, right. Um, it is an unusual yeah. camera. Very unusual. <laughs> so what would you do with those two images? You'd put them in a some stereo, sort of viewer, yeah. wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I see. Okay. Very interesting. Yeah. Oh, a Leningrad. You've got a Leningrad. 
I've got a Leningrad, yes, wow. it works. Does it? Does the clockwork motor work? Oh, nice. It does sound like a Kalashnikov, which isn't very politically correct at the moment. It's not, is it? No, no, no. no. no but well, there yes, we are. It works. And it's got one of the most brightest range finders I've ever seen. Has it's it? terrific. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It's got a totally different design of range finder than usual. Really? When you look through. So the Leningrad's a really interesting camera. I believe that's the camera the cosmonauts took to the moon. It has a clockwork motor so that it will fire lots of frames without winding in between them. That's really quite fine. I'm going to think about that. Yeah, that's that's how you. I'd very much like that. Yeah, I'm quite tempted by that Leningrad. I tell you what, I'm going to leave here a little bit less well off than when I arrived. I can see. Oh well, twas ever thus. Now just look what we have found. The five quid box. Let's see what's in here. Oh, a Thyristor Auto. I've been looking for one of those. There's even a lens. Look at this. Oh, oh, oh. Chin on 2.8135. Look at that. Chin on 2.8135. That's not bad for a fiver. Ductile 270, 150. 270 to 150. Ah, oh, that's pretty good too. Lots of flash units. A most likely broken Yashica. Let's see if it's actually working. It is actually working. Nice bargain for somebody there. As it was dirty. Another Yashica down there. That Yashica is working, the one you've got in your hand. That is a nice bargain for somebody. Curtains look good. Yeah, they look very good. There's scuffs on it. Scuffs on the show. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is it? Is that a hole? I think it's scuffing, isn't it? The light seals are not there. Right, yeah. Five quid. I reckon for a fiver, that's well worth it. Smelly converters. Yeah. Probably more smelly converters. I've got so many of those. I know. Oh, look, a little digi from the 2000s, or thereabouts. It's a knockoff. Oh, yes. Fujian. A pretend Guaranteed. Fuji film. Guaranteed camera. high quality. Guaranteed. It's probably worth more now than it was when it was new. What do we have there? Oh, that's a converter of some sort, isn't it? Yeah, three to one teleconverter. Oh, Canon point and shoot. I think it's seen better days. Yes, that has seen better days, indeed. Oh, there's no M4 there, look. I don't see too many of those. Oh, sorry, OM4. Two fifty for the OM4 with fifty-one point eight. Okay. Definitely. Oh, look, an SX seventy. These I love. 175. 25 quid extra for brown. Yeah. I absolutely love these. 
maybe soon maybe someday soon <laughs> pretty sure that Tiffin. Right, is it cup of tea time, do you think? Yes, I think it is. Right, cup of tea time. So what do we think, Cal? Have you seen anything interesting that you, you, you can't resist and you've got to take home? I did put my hand on a Contax RTS with a winder. Oh, nice. It's in beautiful condition for a camera that's that old. Yeah, you can buy it. Unfortunately, I didn't do anything with it. I've lost, I lost it as a young man. Contacts RTS. Keep the knife on F2s. Well, it's there for you now. What am I going to do with it? You're take, not it take it over, look at it, and, and keep doors open with it. So, uh, see ya. It's going to have to stay here, chaps. As a young man in my, in my teens and early 20s, I just wanted a Contacts RTS because of reasons. Yeah. And I had to, for money reasons, I had to put up with a Yashica FR1. Do you know what would have been... a beautiful camera, which is all, all the qualities of the contact is without the money. Do you know what would have been a luxury camera to me? A Zenith. A Zenith? I lusted after a Zenith back in the day. I really did. Yeah. That's nothing. <laughs> right, ask me if there's anything well, I like. We're a lad. We used to dream at Zenith. Uh, <laughs> when, we were, when we were at Bottom at Pond, we used to dream at Zeniths. Right, ask me if there's anything I want to take home. Yes, there is. Go on, ask what, me. What do you want to take home, Nigel? Shall I tell you? Go on. You have to hold the camera. I'll hold the camera. There you go. Well, well, Alan, I would like to take home a nice Leningrad rangefinder. Beautiful. It's the one, one of the cosmonauts took to space. It's a clockwork motor that fires and, and, and you can take lots and lots of shots. It's just fantastic, and I want to take it home. But I don't know if I'm going to. I don't know if I'm going to. Oh, he's going to. He's, he's going encouraging to. me here. He's, he's going encouraging to. me. He knows I've got some money in my pocket that he can borrow if he needs it. I've he's already, going to. I've already looked through it. The <laughs> rangefinder is so yes. incredible. It's very, very precise. I can imagine that being the camera for space. Never mind your Hasselblads. Your Leningrad space camera. Strawberry. Strawberry moment. Okay. I got it. Where's the camera? There. I got it. Look, look. I got the Leningrad. I got the camera that went to space. The Russian camera that went to space that has a clockwork motor. How fantastic is that? Whoa. And so we have returned from our odyssey to the, to the uh, Photographica camera exhibition. And my gosh, what a lot of cameras there were. It really does show the interest in film photography, while it may have abated for a few years, is really coming back up and interest in collecting the old gear seems to be as strong as ever. So I guess with that kind of interest, that's a really good sign for the future of film photography, film photography equipment, and the continuance of the fascination with making images on chemical film. And we've got our two wonderful things from the exhibition, uh, from the sale rather. We've got the mighty clockwork Leningrad. This is a mechanical masterpiece. I, I really can't say any more than that. I'll give you a quick look at it now. Let me just wind it up. Hold on. It's actually a, a, a fairly, fairly heavy mechanism to wind and it does take a few winds before it will actually do anything the winding mechanism is actually to wind the camera on there's no way to do that manually so i'll just demonstrate just very briefly if i can with one hand shooting this wondrous old leningrad that we've managed to liberate from photographica so here we go so that's the actual shutter firing and when I release it, the clockwork mechanism will actually prime the camera, wind the camera on. So here we go. And there we are. That's just the most magnificent piece of mechanical perfection that I've seen in a long, long time. So we'll be reviewing that pretty soon on the channel. We've also got, if I can get the lens cap off, 
We've also got the Konica Hexanon 57 millimeter f 1.4 and actually this is an earlier lens than I had expected it to be. I bought it quite quickly. I think I was <laughs> really encouraged into it by by my good friend Al and by my fascination for all things Konica. So this is actually an earlier lens than I'd expected it to be. It's not the later 50 mil 1.4. This is a descendant of the Biotar. It's actually a really interesting lens. It's a, it's a descendant of the uh, Biotar design. So it's related to the Helios um, 44 lens. So we'll be testing this lens soon on the channel. I'll be reviewing this lens soon. I've already shot some images with it and it shoots really nicely. It's quite extraordinary and surprisingly for an older f1.4 it's pretty sharp too so that will be coming up soon. So I think that's it from me for now. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all our subscribers, subscribers, old subscribers, new Please do keep those subs coming in. Subs have dropped recently and I'm not sure why. So please let's help to build them up again and uh, get this channel where it needs to be. So do give us a sub, please. Many, many thanks to all the subscribers who've been with us for such a long time and all the subscribers who've recently joined us. Many, many thanks to you. I must also thank with a genuine heartfelt thanks all the Patrons over on Patreon, patrons, old patrons, new patrons, old patrons, young patrons, large patrons, small. Seriously, thank you, everybody, for your continued and continuing support. Your support is what makes this channel possible. So many, many thanks for that, and long may it continue. Thanks to everybody who's supported us. And if you like the content on this channel, you might consider becoming a patron yourself over at patreon.com forward slash xenography. I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the bell thing before you go. That's it from me for now and I will see you next time for some more xenography.